Hey guys, Zach King here with another Final Cut Pro tutorial. I'm going to go over um, keyframing text in this tutorial. It's going to be shorter, but I know a lot of you have been asking how to do that, so I just want to cover that really quickly. Okay, so to create text in the first place, go to your vid video generators tab, click down the menu. I've been using text recently, so it shows up at the top, but if you haven't, it's here, text, and come down and select text right there. Okay, so the sample text will pop up. Go to your controls tab and type in uh, whatever you want to keyframe, finalcutking.com. I'm going to just pick a random font. Let's go with all star, uh, not, that's horrible. Let's go with that. And then I'm going to check it here. It's a little small, but I'm going to drag it out anyways. Double click it, make sure, go to my controls and then make it come a little bigger. Okay. So let's keyframe this thing. I've got my text here. It's about, ten, I think it's 10 seconds long. It's the default. You can change that by coming up here and typing, if I want it five seconds, it'd be 500. And there, cut down half. So there we go. Finalcutking.com. I really don't like that font. It just bugs me. I'll come down to copper plate. Okay, sweet. So in your controls, uh, if you've done text before, or if you haven't, go back and watch a different tutorial on how to do text. But if you've done text, here's uh, all your regular tools that you're used to. Over here, your size, your font color, origin, tracking, and leading, and aspect can all be keyframed. These are your keyframe buttons. So when you see that next to a, a control, that means that can be keyframed. And this is your keyframe editor, so they'll show up as little dots here. And you can uh, fine-tune them in that timeline. So... I'm going to change the size first of all. Let's just do a sample. We're just going to play around. I'm going to copy and paste this a couple times so you, we can do different different things with them. So the first one, make sure you have it selected, controls. I'm going to change the size. I'm going to start off small, add a keyframe, and drag it mm, three quarters way and make it big. Not that big. Filling the whole screen right there. It's going to need to be rendered, but... Uh, I'll render it really fast. Okay, so let's play it and it should, there it goes. Comes up, should stop there, and that's fine. And you can see right here these dots, those are the keyframes. You can right click and I can smooth it. And you see it added an extra little curve, which I can go in and edit, but I'd have to render it again. Let's just see how fast this takes. There we go. So you can see as it came up to the end, instead of being abrupt like it was before, it smooths into that ending nicely. So I like to smooth text unless you have, want that abrupt feel. Let's uh, keyframe something else. Let's do... No, let's stay on the same one actually. Let's just make it track while at the same time. So let's say when it gets here, when it, when it stops, we want it to track inward. So that's going to be this. I'm going to add a keyframe here for that and I'm going to say by the end the last frame I want it to be tracking let's just say I want it tracking all the way out that would be really random to do for a, for a real video but for this tutorial let's see what happens so now it should start tracking right now that was really fast if I didn't want it to happen that fast I could pull this and, and start it earlier so I just started earlier Man, all this rendering. Okay, so now it should have started, yeah, while, and it's going so fast. But you could keep tweaking the timing. Uh, let's take another, uh, another keyframing. And you can see this is the same for all of them. Like the aspect ratio, you just squish it. So if we started here, um, change the center. There, I'm going to have it uh, keyframe there. Lee aspect we're doing and then drag it three quarters or wherever and then I'm gonna have it come here I'm also gonna change the origin just because I want it to land in the center so it should if I scroll through you can see it does that you can also add do all these keyframes 
right here, if you look right here on this add motion keyframe, that will take everything you keyframe. So instead of doing them individually, it basically says whatever controls you move and adjust, I will keyframe those. So that's the master keyframe button right there. And that, that's basic basics on keyframing. Anything in Final Cut, anything in motion, when you see these uh, add keyframe buttons next to a control, you can keyframe it. So you have great power and response. You have great uh, <laughs> power and responsibility. You have great uh, control with whatever you want to do. You can you have so many options. So play around with it, and I'll see you guys later.